Today we're going to be embroidering this lunch box. It is a quick and simple design for back to school. So basically I'm just going to measure across and see how large I would like the design to be. It looks like I would like it to be about five inches across and two inches tall. I already created the file for this project in Inbird Studio because I just didn't want to bore you with that process. Basically what I did in Inbird Studio is just type out the name and I did that using one of the um, prepaid Inbird fonts. And then I just went up to compile into Inbird Editor and it brought me to the screen here. And what I'm going to do in Inbird Editor is go to Edit and then Center the Design. And when I center the design, I am then going to go to edit once more and then select auto split, which is going to split the design into two separate parts. And I chose to split it um, in one four by four window and another four by four window. And that is just going to create two separate files. Um, so now all I have to do is go to file and save separated as. And that is going to save this as the two separate files. So I have now marked where I would like the design to go. And also created a mark for center point. And then I pinned this to the heavyweight interfacing. Now we're going to go over to the embroidery machine and embroider this out. There's one other thing to note about embroidering with a 5x7 hoop on a 4x4 embroidery machine. That is this hump right here. You will want to cover this hump with some painter's tape to prevent it from getting all scraped up. Um, many of the videos that you find here on YouTube use a 5x7 embroidery hoop with a 4x4 machine, but they fail to mention this. Thus, I have this little scrape right here where I've used my 5x7 on a 4x4 machine. This is when I first got the machine I did that. Uh, but it's just one of those things to note. All of this embroidery has made me quite hungry, so let's go make some lunch.
Now, I have to pick up the embroidery hoop and move it down. So I'm gonna do that. And do make sure you hear the hoop click all the way into place because I have done that before where the hoop wasn't all the way in place and then it ended up messing up the design. I don't know if you can see that there. Now I just want to see where the end would print out. And as you can see, that is too far over. So we need to move over even some more. So I'm just going to slide the hoop down some more. This is how the embroidery has turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm just going to take the pins off and remove this from the heavyweight interfacing. And I'm just peeling off the interfacing off of the back of this just so that it doesn't create a huge mess. And of course, I'll clean this up. Like so, and there we have it. I'm sorry, but I don't think Darren is going to get any of this lunch. This is my lunch. That is delicious. If you would like to have any items personalized, please let me know. My contact information is in the description below. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.